Play me some Pippin, man. Looking for them brand fees. I'm in the chicks dorm room blowing hash. Grabbing ass, getting becking, that's that trippy swag. Molly in my system, but I ain't turned up yet. Smoking paper jets with a blonde and brunette. They stone blow. I'm double cupping. Juicy toss, all hoes, no handcuffing. For me and Gresham. When at that sleep, motherfucker. When the fight was over, man, there was this one cat. Had shades on and a scully. Speak of, goes by the name of Rage. Well, who exactly is this character, man? Because I had to keep aggression from slitting his throat. Rage is not as powerful as Damien. He's only a mortal. But, out of all the mortals y'all can face on this planet, I couldn't name a motherfucker tougher. He says something like, because Slash had trained Ricochet, and, and Aggression trained Slash, and I trained Aggression, he asked me where the hell I think I came from. Before you came around, Red, it was just Roach. Rage planted the seed in Roach that made him angry. And that's when you came around. You are a product of rage. So I just should have went ahead and took this motherfucker out, right? If it were that easy. You have a long way to go before you're able to defeat rage. Fool, you just said immortal. Why are you talking to me like I don't stand a chance? For the simple fact that rage made you, so he knows all your weaknesses. In the meantime... I'm going to have to show you his weaknesses. But that's going to get saved for a later time because me and Ratchetron got to do what we got to do against these witch doctors. Are you ready for that? Motherfucker, I've been ready since I hopped out the wound in 1983. Now let's go! You know, this It'll be our turn, Ratchetron. I know you don't like rules, but we uh, we got a little something something on this one. A little something something? Motherfucker, you got to be more Pacific. We're going to go into this fight with Raul and his brother. And we got to win this fight without killing him. Get into the fight. Win the fight without killing him. Since we, when we get on Team Softy, man. I sense Raul's intentions. He doesn't want to face me. There's more to this story than we know. Man, this your boy, Ricky. Get that done for your RDK7 News. Now, for those of y'all who had to go to work this morning, y'all gonna be some wet motherfuckers. But for those of y'all who can wait the next three hours, dry skies. No more rain. Get your ass on the move and get that motherfucking money. It's your boy Rick here signing out. RDK7 News. It ain't nothing but a TKO. Man, I told you that sleep motherfucking one shit, man. Y'all need, need to get me in the motherfucking ball game, boss. I'm ready to knock me a bitch the fuck out, man. TKO. I got two of some of the strongest witch doctors around. To weaken my opponent. And then I had the assassins. Slash and Ricochet. At their post. 
If Team Roach Red happens to get through all this shit, it's going to be me versus the Reaper. I'm not even sure if either one of us can die. I don't think this is the fight you need to be in, TKO. Well, find a spot for me, man. I can't be the sitting duck with a thumb out my motherfucking ass, man. I'm ready to punch up his life side. I'll tell you what, TKO. I love to play fair in the games of war. But you being my number one man, I'm going to find a spot for you in this at some point. Because obviously at some point in this plan, the shit is going to backfire. And at that point, we might have to give them an uneven fight. I'll find a spot for you, my man. I'm going to pluck somebody's feathers, man. You can put that on the last piece of chicken. All the chances. You got to take a piss. And one of them things. A portal pot is right across the motherfucking street. God dang it. You get your ticket for the train. Some motherfuckers act like they're filling out a job application. This motherfucker, Raul. I know this shit wasn't in your best intentions. So, what connection do you and Damien have? Me and Damien's connection don't go past the safety of my village. Just the one I came to see. I will not let you harm my people. I'm immortal, bro. Your magic ain't gonna work on me. You work for me now. Either you come or I'll kill you and burn this bitch down. Is how it went down, Reaper. Raul, I promise you if you join us, your people will be safe. And Damien will not be a threat any longer. I hear myths all the time about these mortals, Reaper. From what I hear, Damien, he may not be able to die. He probably can't. And that's why when the time comes, I'm going to sacrifice myself and bring him to the other world. Hold on, motherfucker, what? We ain't discussed that part of the plan. 
These are the risks we have to take, Ratchet Tron. It's in the best benefit for the team. Now, what's up, Raul? You and your brother will open a spot with us if you want. We can use your help. I would have to be a fool to turn down the help of the strongest in the universe for the safety of my people. That is what this is all about. What do you say, Tantum? Let's go save our people, brother. this POF shit, bruh. The fuck is that, bruh? <laughs> what in the... What the fuck? My heart just skipped the beat because I thought I accidentally hit the check on that bitch. Girl's face. It's one of the trucks. Say caution. Wide low. She turned her head take it out like a backhand, my nigga. Shorty is packing a dead body back there. Did you see that shit? P.O.F. We out here, nigga. We out here. I don't skip the big booty bitch, bro. Damn. My death. I'll be smothered in them things. Right there. P.O.F. We out here. Bro. That has a dick. That, but what the fuck? You on the wrong side of the fence, buddy. Get your ass the fuck up off this shit. P.O.F. Unfortunately, I make sure I hit the X before I fuck around and hit some bullshit. Saying the shit is going down in the slant. Motherfuckers ain't lyrical about as they used to be. But then I gotta ask myself, why so serious? I used to get angry as a kid, just to frown all the time. That's why I'm stuck with a madman to on my face. Like, why so serious? And then I could keep going to lyrical rock. Nobody knows about the motherfucking ass. Or I could easily pull out my ego and show these ratchet motherfuckers that I could get more ratchet than they ass. Because in the end, bitch, I'm at that motherfucking age where I told myself, bitch, I'm not going to fail. And I'm like, if you can't beat them, join them. So I'm a bigger fool than y'all motherfuckers. I'm not going to be getting fucked in my ass for no record deal. Because let's put it this way. I already signed myself. But we already know what's going to work and what's not going to work. So if I got to get in straight climbing mode... That what the fuck ain't gonna be. Y'all watch out for nobody likes roaches. I mean, y'all know. I may pay attention to the fact that before this pen and pad I just got on like the day before Valentine's Day, I haven't picked up a pen and pad and wrote a fucking song since 2012. The last week of 2012 in December. I'm back on it. Now, I'm not gonna, you know, Count the song that I did before Valentine's Day with some freaky D shit for the mood, but you know, I started on some other shit. And I thought I'd give y'all, you know, a little teaser. You know, it's a little eight bars. But since I got back on the pen pad, check me out. <clears throat> you get slapped at the press conference talking like you got accomplishments. Be head you and any accomplices from rubber neck and like you some ostriches. I'm pretty sure you know what an imposter is. Chico's my brothers like we some foster kids. I don't really give a fuck up your roster is. If I ever speak to you, it's gonna cost you big. Nobody likes roses, bro. <laughs>